Good morning, Lean Maniacs. I am at River, C River City Cabinets this week and we are finding the waste in their hidden factory. And I'm pretty sure you're probably saying, what is a hidden factory? Well, we all have one. And the more custom you are, the bigger your hidden factory is. And we call it the hidden factory because you can't see the waste like you can see it out in your shop. So the hidden factory is everything from shop floor order all the way to a cut list or a work order for the shop. And we are going to, right now we're just starting so you don't see anything on these sheets of paper, but uh, by the end of the second day, these should be covered and we're probably gonna be putting up more paper because we're gonna run out of room. We're gonna map every process. That's why it's called value stream mapping. We're gonna create their current state map. So I will give you an update in two days so you can see where we are. We get is why do a hidden factory value stream map? And that's because quality at the source people, all of our mistakes come from, not all of them, but a lot of them come from the hidden factory. So if we can stop that waste at the source, that's our goal. At this time in the value stream mapping exercise, everyone is using sticky notes and they're putting them up at the process where they have a question or if there's something about the process that bugs them. So it's essentially flagging this process so we can discuss it in detail. And just before we head into our brainstorming portion of the value stream mapping exercise, I like to warm the teams up with a really fun team building exercise. Hey guys, I just have another update. We are on day four for our value stream mapping exercise and uh, River City Cabinets. And we have all of our processes down here. As you can see, we did our uh, sticky note exercise yesterday. And what that denotes is what bugs us or where we have questions on the process. But also we voted with stickers. I give them a limited amount of stickers so that they can vote on what they think the priorities are. So we are capturing all of this data for an action item list and we are going to tackle it, but we have to figure out what's our priority. Where do we feel that our biggest impact is? So we split off into three teams and they each have their overarching uh, problem to solve. We've got lots of uh, brainstorming going on here. So we have some new concepts that we're talking about here. We have these brainstorming sheets all over the room and each team is taking their brainstorming sheet and then developing an action plan and doing some testing. And so this is day four. So at the end of the day today, anything that we haven't accomplished yet, uh, we will have on an action item list with an owner and a due date so we can use that to keep following up uh, because there's lots of good stuff that we found in here. Lots of low hanging fruit, Lots of waste, lots of waiting, like in every single hidden factory we see, uh, but it's really hard to see, which is why we map everything out on this uh, value stream map so we can understand it and then analyze it and see the waste. And here we are at the end of the value stream mapping exercise. Each team is presenting to management their ideas and action plan on reducing waste, reducing lead time, and increasing throughput through the hidden factory. Great job, guys.